one two three recording hi everybody how are you guys doing my name is alia alicia also known as silencia queen whatever you like to call me and i thought i would make this really information oh my gosh girl you need some lip gloss okay guys so let me just tell y'all i had a very long day i had a few meetings to go to and then i actually just got out of another training session well my first training session but another meeting on the um the zoom app which is not sponsored at all so as you can tell my lip gloss mm, i mean lipstick y'all my lipstick is totally off i have chabby lips well it looks chabby this is a actually this is actually a matte um professional makeup lipstick and i'm not gonna tell y'all what brand it is because this video is not sponsored at all whatsoever this is out the kindness of my heart I was looking on YouTube and there's not a lot of videos on the situation or if there are videos on the situation, then they're just not really telling the full truth. So as somebody who's new and a newbie, just like probably you are, well, I cut this lip gloss on real quick. I mean, lip gloss. Why do I keep saying lip gloss? I don't know, guys. I own a lot of lip glosses as well as I make lipsticks and lip glosses. Shout out to Scott Beauty World, my business, my lash business, Lash with Leah as well. But this is not the video for that, so let's just go straight into it, okay? I got out of a meeting today with my agency leader, okay? Because there's a few things I got to explain to y'all. And I want to tell it to y'all raw and honest. Perfect. That is totally more suitable to be watching and listening throughout the video because i know i can listen to nobody who just looks at a mess okay so before i go on to get things done for today because i have a stream tonight my very first stream i thought i would tell you guys how the hell the audition situation goes um first of all it's 2024 so anytime you're watching this video things have definitely changed i had took the time to research Everything that was going on with Beagle Live back in like 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, like way back, way back, okay? And there isn't really too many updates or truth on how to audition. I just want to let the whole world know, first of all, if you are looking to work and get money on the Beagle Live app, you must, there are requirements, which the only requirement would be you would have to be under an agency, okay? Now, everybody knows this. I mean, most people do. I don't blame you. I don't hate you if you don't know this, but it's just what it is. And I actually got, yay, approved to become um, an actual streamer. Oh, that's what they call it, host. Yes. So I got approved to be a host and... um. This happened today. I found out today that I was approved to become a host. So my first stream will be tonight at 7 or 8 o'clock as I let everybody know that my schedule, just real quick, I'm going to talk about my schedule. My schedule on Beagle Live is going to be on weekends from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If I'm allowed to stream that long, I heard that um, you're only allowed to stream maximum three hours. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Apparently, I will be on there all day, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the weekends. And then on the weekdays, I will be working from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock p.m. till 10 p.m. Eastern timing. I'm in New York. I'm around. I'm in. <laughs> I'm from New York, but I'm around the Connecticut and New York and Massachusetts and Rhode Island area. So that's where I'm coming from. I'm not in the specific um, PST timing at all. So. In the meeting that I had today, which was training, yesterday I met with her and I let her know that I was going to sign to her because she reached out to me on a very, uh, it's a very raunchy adult website for people to network and meet each other if you work on Cornhub, which is also my side job, Cornhub. I'm only going to say Cornhub because I really don't want to say the word P hub okay i will put the rest together if you don't know what that is then mind your business because you probably a child then and um i literally wrote down like a list one two three okay so it's just okay so it's one and then two and then three and then do i have anything else here no so i have like three pages of information down after i finally got approved round of applause to me 
Yay, I'm actually an official host now. And I want to tell you guys about the audition process because I think that times have changed. You know, most people back in the day, what I heard was that how it worked was you would get invited by an agency when you become very popular. Because if you don't know, you can stream for free, like as a normal not host on Beagle Live. But then they also had the option for you to become an official host, which is be through which is gonna be through the agency that you choose to work with. And this agency reached out to me through an adult site that I was looking for to meet people, to make videos on Cornhub with. But I also got, but instead I got hit with the opportunity. This is a non-nude site at all. So I got hit with the opportunity to do something else, which is called live streaming. Live streaming is just like Twitch. It's just like um, going live on YouTube, which I've done for years because I do have a, well, I did have a, um, YouTube account that was over 50,000 subscribers big. And then back when I was famous with 20,000, because, you know, back in the day on Instagram, girl, when Instagram was developing, having over 20,000 fans, I mean, followers on your Instagram was like everything. You're so popular. So I used to go live on there as well. So I'm not really new to live streaming, but I am new to working with the Bego app. <laughs> and um, I want to tell you guys how it works with the audition process because I actually did this mess yesterday and it was so easy so simple so if you are assigned to an agency i want to let you know that it shouldn't be hard at all now most people back in the day if you do not know they used to do um a invite where people will find you going on live for free i'm just talking about companies and i'm talking about um you know agencies they would find the people live on there and then try to recruit them from there there was also another option back in the day to, um, you still didn't die yet? This is the only fly I've ever had in my room my whole life. I'm sorry, y'all. There was a fly on my, um, my Etsy light and that was not cool, but it is summertime now. So a lot of flies seem to work its way into my house and it's just so annoying, but they're around though. They're around. Okay. So the audition process for me was as simple as taking a 30 to 60 second video, which she asked me to do after the meeting. And I had to do four things. I had to state my name. I had to, my real name at you guys, my real name. You say your real name. You say the time of when you're recording it. So yesterday was May 15th, I believe, right? I think it was May 15th. Okay, we yeah, got one of those. Yeah, it's, no, 14th, May 14th. And I stated the date, I stated my real name. I stated my um time. I stated my Beagle ID, which, which was a bunch of numbers at the time. And then you would say that you're very excited to be auditioning for Beagle. And then you would let them know what you're going to post on your channel or your account, your live stream account, what you're going to do. And then also, um, you can't forget to add as well as your schedule. And those are the simple tips. I mean, the simple process of getting yourself a Beagle audition done. And then I sent it to her through Telegram, which um, some agencies will, most agencies have you do a meeting on Zoom. Some will bring you to Telegram. That's where I was brought to. And that's where I, after I did the Zoom meeting with her, I took the video. I had to redo it though. And I want to give you guys some tips on how to not mess up like I did because I did have to redo it about three times. I mean, two times. And um, I sent it to her on Telegram and then she submitted it for me. Now, there are things like um, we did go through the process of following each other on the app. And then she would message me like this invite thing that I had to accept. And then somehow, some way, the agency was able to connect with my account. So when I go on my account and I go to my settings, um, you can also see like the agency where you are signed with. Even though I didn't actually do any signing for real, for real. Um, it does list what agency had helped me get through this process. Now, back in the day, you had options. I don't, guys, there was so many ways that they did it back in the day. But another option that they had back in the day was to go live 
for about 15 to 30 minutes and then that would be your audition your first live but i didn't have to go through that at all so i just wanted to let everybody know the new way of how it can work easily for anybody now my tips would be for anybody that would be signing up and doing their audition the same way that i would be that i did my audition before i got approved today is to make sure that you don't look like this you cannot look like this and you definitely do not want to be wearing any see-through clothing. Now, once you, there is a professional approach to it. So, like, if you guys have, like, covered clothes like this that don't show your hips, because this is a crop top, which you're not allowed to show your hips. That's another rule. Um, I had to redo it because I did it in a see-through sheer dress, and that just would not work. So, I wore... Uh, big old shirt <laughs> and i did my video um it was a big change though because before i was looking like a classy well put together Nicki minaj or oprah winfrey and then i went to looking like um she i don't know i was i was look, i was looking mad hood like it was a big difference with me being in a dress versus having to change into the appropriate outfit now, I think it's a fair approach because with the Beagle Lab, they do have rules like no nudity at all. Um, they also have rules when it comes to your outfit with no crop tops that show your hips. You can't show your genital areas and you definitely cannot show your areolas or your boobs. Okay, this is for a YouTube video, so it's completely fine. But when it comes to auditioning and when it comes to working on Beagle, once you are approved to become a host, you do not want to do those things because more than likely you might get a class A ban or worse. And unless you have VIP points or VIP features, it's going to be very hard. You're going to have to end up spending money to get the VIP stuff in order for you to get your account back because they, I heard, do not hesitate to ban people and they ban people left to right. I did hear that in my agency that many girls have been getting banned for a lot of things like doing drugs on there, which you're not allowed to do, or drinking, which you're not allowed to do, or vaping, which you're also not allowed to do. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to shoot this quick video to update you guys on how it works when it comes to Beagle Live and how to audition and my tips for becoming a host and getting approved. Now, if y'all have any more questions that you would like to hear from me specifically, I would just ask you guys to comment below. And if you agree with the information I'm saying or appreciate my tips and tricks, guys, give me a like on this video and then subscribe to this channel for more if, you know, you want to see more. Anyways, thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I know it's going to help you guys, but it also helps me too. And I'm just being raw, honest, and real. And I appreciate your time. I'm going to be heading over to my bed and my laptop to, perf to get ready for my first stream. And then I have some work to do as well. So I will catch you guys later. Thank you all for watching. I'm so excited to finally be approved. I was so scared. I was like, guys, I was telling my agency leader, like, are they going to reject me? Do they reject anybody? I was so scared. But luckily, I did get approved. And I'm just ready to do the right thing and see success. Woo! Walk out that forever. Okay. I played too much. Okay. Guys, I will guys I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching this video. Peace out. Mm.